So you want to learn how to sweep pick, but you can't because you don't know how. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's really not that hard. Now all a sweep is, is a chord on guitar played one note, one string at a time. Like here, take D major. Play that one note, one string at a time. Simple, right? Now, the name sweeping comes from the hand motion of this hand. Watch it as I play that again. Going down and coming back up. Now, for whatever reason, the name sweep just caught on to that because it kind of looks like you're sweeping a broom, you know? Now, I'm going to teach you two sweeps in this video both of which are very easy D major and D minor let's start off with D major I already played that chord down here move it up one octave so just pretend like your 12 frets are zero play the same chord now I'm gonna add one extra note on the end of that chord to make it more circular because the sweep you know it's very fluid motion, it's supposed to sound circular. Circular. So I'm just gonna add a 17 on the end of this. So here are the notes. On your third string, it's 14. On your second string, it's 15. On your high E or your first string, 14, and then that's 17. And that's just going back down. That's all it is. Play that, you'll impress all your friends. But to learn it, you have to practice slow and have good technique. Now, when I first started learning how to sweep a few years ago, I didn't have anybody to teach me, and I was pretty much on my own. And over time, I found that by playing with your fingers at a 45 degree angle, you block the string you're about to play. And I know it sounds complicated, but watch. I'm playing on my third string. But listen to my second string. I'm not moving my finger. Right? It's blocked. You're muting it because of the angle of your finger. And that goes for the rest of the strings you play. Now listen to my high E string. No noise. That's because with good technique, you're making yourself play clean. And that's what a good guitarist does. He hits every note every time. So I'm going to play this sweep slow. Now I'm going to play it fast. Alright, same thing. So when you're playing, practice slow. I recommend taking a metronome and just taking beats. Just get the feel of that shape under your fingers, and when you kind of have it by muscle memory, then you can start speeding up. But when you find out you have mistakes, slow it back down, you know, play it to where there's no mistakes, and keep speeding that up until you start making mistakes, and then you slow it back down and keep trying to speed it up. It's just a lot of practice and it's repetitive. But that's your G or D major sweep. And you can do anything with it. Just move it up and down the fretboard. It sounds cool. Sounds cool. 
Use it any way you want. Impress all your friends. Alright, now on to the D minor sweep. The sweep, most common sweep ever. You'll hear in Michelangelo body is no boundaries, you know, winter suns beyond the dark sun, everywhere. Even Metallica uses this sweep. The only sweep Kirk Hammett ever does is this one right here. And I'm going to show it to you. Now, I'm going to show you the whole sweep. Not the this version. I'm going to show you the whole thing. So, if we're playing, take your fifth string and play 12. We'll go from 12 to 17 on that string. But hammer it on. Don't pick twice. Don't go. Just hammer. So play 12, 17. Then on your fourth string, play 15. Third string, 14. Second string, 15. Your high E string, your first string, is going to be 13 and then 17. And just go right back down. Very easy. Now, watch my, look at my finger angle when I do this. Right? That's the angle my finger's at when I play. It keeps it nice and clean so you don't hit any other notes you don't want to hit. So here's that slow down. Now, here's that a little faster. And, you know, I play it sloppy right now. I haven't warmed up. But I was looking at videos online, and none of them really, you know, teach you proper technique. They just show you the sweeps. But the most important thing about trying to learn something new is just practicing it over and over and over and over again and with time you'll slowly start to get it and it's a lot harder at first but once you understand the concept you know it gets easier same thing for this technique on guitar just practice